We are in the Museum of New New Painting. Uh, this is an exhibition of Joseph Trapal, that's me. I'll tell you a little bit about it. This show for my 70th birthday comprises uh, old work and new work. Uh, this was from the nude and the art of painting. This is idealism meets realism. Also recent, this is from 2010. And this is from my hexagonal investigations uh, about a year ago. And then you will see much older work, the work that started it all. This is a bit of the history of new new painters, including the book. It was our first catalogue in Paris, 1992, where the movement was launched by a French dealer, Gerard Pelzer. Acrylic, or my acrylic, is very dependent on light. And I employ the grooving as a drawing with light element with my color. This is Turtle Island, and perhaps we'll go to the source. And the source was actually my island that I bought in 1971 uh, in Georgian Bay in Lake Huron. And uh, I loved the elemental nature, the danger in the big water, the wildlife. We had rattlesnakes. And you drank the water from the lake. That's how pure and unspoiled the area is. And I was uh, basing my work on it. In 1974, I lost um, my dealers because I broke through with, uh, with an artistic change. And uh, this work is impossible to photograph. Never really comes off uh, properly. I painted six of these 12 for us. Um, they have uh, compression method of painting. I call it compression technique. And uh, I painted them to, <laughs> when I had to uh, rent out my island for the season, I missed it and I wanted to refresh uh, uh, some memory of it. It's a deep green glaze over a hot pink. Um, and the only color that I added was a flat gray in the middle. This work is from 2003, definite influence of new new uh, movement, uh, which meant uh, revitalizing of painting, and the courage to use uh, taboo materials, uh, materials that would not be considered <laughs> suitable for fine art, glitter, day glow colors, glass balls. Well, I remember the cubists, 
they often added sand to their paints. The issue is uh, not newness, but how good is it as art? And that is what still propels me in my research. This is an older work, 1982. At that time I painted flat images. This one is called Age of Reason. Next to it is, of course, a new, new influence in uh, the use of uh, in the use of thick paint. That's an influence of John Kittens and glitter, an influence of Lucy Baker and others. I think one doesn't need many words when looking at this art because there were no words in my mind when I made them. That is to quote David Smith in his fantastic book, David Smith on David Smith, Hexagonal Investigations, Violence of Angels. And uh, this picture actually started all my new moods. I thought, hmm, it looks like a lab. I could uh, deliberately paint uh, larger nudes like that. And I did. Uh, you'll see two in this exhibition. This is from Antidrapel, uh, a group of paintings done when I turned 65, five years ago, when I uh, used a particularly uh, strongly the influence of John Giddens. This work was actually completed this year, 2010. These are my earliest drawings when I was uh, 14, 15, 17, 18. This is uh, one of the nudes and the art of painting. This is new work, of course, 2010. So thank you for visiting and come again. <laughs>